This is going to be your guide to using Raging Bolt in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Okay, slightly more reasonable stats for Paradox Pokemon than Gouging Fire, but that 137 special attack, that starts putting us into KO ranges, especially if we are going the modest nature because our speed is too low to really care about. Um, comparing it to Raikou, we also have some interesting stuff because Raikou all of a sudden just like started running Calm Mind and it made sense because, wait a second, if I outspeed the opponent and I Calm Mind, I'm taking less special damage anyways, and then 115 boosted with a plus one, that starts getting scary. And if I anti-tank with a plus two, I win the game. So Raging Bolt has some interesting angles it might take. Also Thunderclap, signature move, it's Sucker Punch, but electric and special. Which means we have some like damage stuff to look at. Is this enough to make up for the low power of Thunderclap but then why not run Regieleki if you're just kind of all inning on electric? Let's find out. So, so Valley Damage Analog into all of this. I had to like change some of the numbers because we don't have everything yet. Yeah, Thunderclap doesn't show up and I had to tweak a different Pokemon into the stats because Damage Calculator hasn't caught up yet. Either way, 137 Special Attack, Modest Choice Specs. Wow, that's actually not a lot of damage. We'll need to go Terra Electric. But yeah, this actually just kind of like takes out a frail sweeping Pokemon and doesn't scale super crazy hard because that's just 70 base power, I guess. Which makes sense because plus zero sucker punches shouldn't be one-shotting everything. But then I think Regieleki, well, it outspeeds almost everything, so it's like having priority and it only kind of loses to priority. Another problem is like, yeah, with the 75 speed on the Thunderclap, if they are just a faster Pokemon using priority, you're not going to catch them on that, so that'll just happen. But Regieleki, 100 special attack, we can still go modest because our speed is super crazy, and then we have choice specs, transistor, higher base power on the Thunderbolt, and we do good damage to the Sil Valley. The, the way that Regieleki works is that if the opponent doesn't bring ground, you just kind of win the game on a spec sweep. So this kind of puts Raging Bolt into perspective. It's not going to be a sweeping nuker with that Thunderclap. However, being able to do half of a Pokemon's health on priority, kind of for free, I guess actually if we take away the specs from the Raging Bolt, the damage does drop off. But again, like most Pokemon aren't tankier than Silvalli, or at least like offensive sweeping Pokemon. So actually, yeah, most Pokemon you're just going to hit with priority for half their health. So anything that's weakened, anything you can do at KO, any Pokemon needs a follow-up, a Focus Sash that then KO'd a Pokemon, you can revenge really well with the Thunderclap. We have tools here, but we also have bulk. So I poached a little bit from Raikou, and I thought, how does a Pokemon beat this? That's very difficult to deal with. Also, Electric Dragon typing. You have a lot of weaknesses, but we don't have to deal with those because of Terrastalization. So if you see something you're weak to, you can Terra off of it. Terra Fairy feels nice, like man, there is no worse feeling than throwing a Dragon type move and then the opponent going Terra Fairy and now you're just kind of SOL. Fairy doesn't really conflict with anything else and it actually has like the benefit of, well, Steel is a resistance on Electric, so yeah, this is just go Fairy. And now you are really difficult to deal with. Calm Mind for free on a Terra outplay is huge or you just set up in the opponent's face. What are they going to do about this? Now, I've been kind of like showing EVs where if you're just running offensive, you, you do this and you find a lot of damage and then you're just still super bulky. Or you can try to get spicy. Like if we're going for Calm Mind, at plus two Calm Mind, you're probably hitting damage thresholds to one-shot everything so you can get a little bulkier. And at level 50, that's when we play around with numbers. One stat point costs eight EVs. Well, that means we can just get free hit points. So now we actually just get that stat point back in, in our overall durability and then we can like speed just in case somebody else with 75 isn't invested so it's just like those weird battle stadium optimizations where yeah you can actually like put fours like just sprinkle fours in and it's a little better now i wanted to get into the defensive damage calculations where okay we don't survive a booster energy boosted super effective stab hit from a flutter man like it doesn't get that crazy at least but that's why we have terra Terra into that being a neutral hit, and it's doing 60%. We live in. Also, I was messing around with the EVs, and it seems like this is slightly better. Like, it gives you, like, single-digit more effective hit points. Sometimes weird. Sometimes you want to go, like, higher on defenses. There's a mix, but yeah, this also works out. 
Now remember, we have a Citrus Berry, so we take that hit, heal up, set up a Calm Mind, and then we can survive. And then we have, you know, 60% back on the Flutter main. That's still not going to be enough to win out on the matchup. So getting overwhelmed by just like hard sweepers seems to work and you don't like immediately kick up with very high KO. Now it is Flutter main with the 135 special defense. So let's go back to Sil Valley and see how much we need to set up on with this. So as we saw, like, Choice Specs is an effective plus one, hitting plus two here. That actually doesn't take us over. So if we go back to 252, 252, the damage increase doesn't really change much of anything. So even at, like, the modest plus two Calm Mind with all that setup, it doesn't get us there. I mean, Terra Electric is an option, but as we saw, like, if you're eating a stab super effective hit, you don't really get to survive too many of those, even with 125, 91, 89. That's where Power Creep has gotten us. Now, we are talking about, like, strong overall Power Creep Pokemon, and, like, if you get to taunt an opponent, if it's just a lead where they're slower, you taunt, and they're forced to switch, well, now you're plus one Calm Mind for free at full health with all these nasty stats able to do whatever you want. Then you can hit that plus two, and then just even, like, still be a three at KO, so you can not KO something on Thunderclap to shot it and then clean up the rest of the team also just kind of shows like mid game if the opponent's been chipped down if they're trying to pull some shenanigans on you you just have like an opportunity to either outspeed with more damage on dragon pulse or if they're missing some health so thunderclap picks it up at the plus one calm mind now this pokemon's scary raging bolt is interesting as a bulky attacker but just kind of shows like with all these dlcs with all the updates and stuff things just get more and more power crept and unstable to where it doesn't make sense how is how is this potentially underwhelming I, I could have sworn Bruiser Pokemon existed in previous generations, but if this doesn't succeed now, how did it succeed ever? I don't know. Also, other options on the Raging Bolt, instead of Taunt, you can go Leftover Sub, and it's just kind of the same thing where, like, well, if they're set up, or if they're, like, trying to be a tank and they're setting up, I just go Sub, they have no, like, Toxic, they have no status options on me, and then I end up with a free turn somewhere. So is Raging Bolt not sweepy enough to be a sweeper and not disgustingly defensive enough to be a dedicated just like tank that also outputs enough damage? I I don't know. Looking at the rest of the moveset, like do you go rest and then make this a Crocoon? It seems good, but as I've talked about in Pokemon and even Pokemon Unite where it's like, well, balanced isn't good anymore and that's a failing of game design, but that's just the way it is. Like. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's gonna win. But I feel like it can also just like falter where all of a sudden just it just goes down. And it, it just doesn't make sense on why it wasn't able to do anything. Which actually means the first thing I tested could just be the best way of running it. Bulky special attacker. Which means specs, coverage, and maybe a Terra to kind of fill in the blanks. So that also opens up like a Draco Meteor. Yeah, now, now, we're, now it's dangerous. Nothing wants a Specs Draco Meteor on 137 Special Attack from something this bulky. So if you just embrace the durability like that, it's going to be fine. Dragon Pulse, so you don't have to Draco Meteor into some matchups. Rest of our special coverage is weak because that's just electric types. Do you do you just go meme? Like, okay, maybe they're running Sunny Day because there's a lot of scary Protosynthesis Pokemon. So you have Solar Beam here. And then the last one is Terra Blast, and that's why we're also Terra Fairy. And boom, you win the game. Like, this Pokemon can revenge really well because it comes in, specs Thunderclap, well, that means the opponent's gone, and then now you just get to trade with the opponent. Thunderclap, take a hit, Thunderclap, then they get KO'd, and then you can Thunderclap again. Uh, that's that's also why I'm saying, like, okay, Regilecki kind of does, does the same things and also won't get out prioritized. So it's, it's kind of like, you. It, it, then that just goes, yeah. So we came full circle. I went in like, okay, why don't we run offense? Because Regilecki is better. If they don't have ground type Pokemon to just completely absorb your electric type move, then it's just gonna be doing more damage. You do have some outs though, like Raging Bull. If, it, if it's a 1v1 scenario, some kind of weird trade happens, they hit you with a Flare Blitz, it KOs your Pokemon, they go down to recoil and it's a 1v1, this is a pretty good Pokemon to have in a 1v1 because like they can do 90% on a super effective hit and you one shot them on the Draco Meteor or something like that. And I guess because your matchup goes that way, you want Terra Steel. Like that's that's like the weird thing about these fairy matchups or being an electric trying to poach is that, well, if I go Terra Steel, I'm good against fairies, but I'm weak to ground still. If I go Terra Poison, I'm good against fairies, but I'm weak to ground still. So, I mean, like, yeah, then Steel Terror Blast into Fairy, Draco Meteor, everything else, Solar Beam for the 1% win condition, and then Thunderclap for the clap. 
yeah, I think it's just good. How good? We'll have to see when people start using it. It's got some interesting stuff. And then also, it really seems like a lot of these new Pokemon really built for doubles where, hey, we're, since power creep has been happening offensively, we're going to give defensive power creep so you don't get one shot. And maybe you can survive two hits in a turn if you get double focused. Or if there's a rock slide, so like you can take a direct single target hit and then a split damage hit like a rock slide or an earthquake doesn't directly one shot you even though it's super effective. So that happens. And then you have options to just kind of destroy an opponent and then weird trade stuff happens. I don't know. Also, Tailwind Raging Bolt sounds pretty nasty. So, yeah, that's uh, Raging Bolt. I don't, I'm, jury's out. Good luck, have fun. Thank you very much for watching.